you like Brett? Um, he's three years older than you. Mom, I'm 17. I'm going to college next year. Yes, and past a certain age, it doesn't matter. But right now, three years makes a big difference. And please pick up your pack. I don't know how I let you talk me into this trip in the first place. Oh, come on. You used to love rafting every summer. Yeah, I used to. That was before I had a real life. You know, you and I haven't spent any time together since your father left. And doing this to me will make you feel better? Absolutely. You better slow down unless you want another ticket. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I'm a teenager. It's in my DNA. <laughs> Can we stop for some snacks? I'm hungry. Yes, when you put on your back. You don't have to tell me every little move to make. Why do you fight me on this? Because you push me. If you push anybody hard enough, you'll get a fight. What was what? You know what, that look. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought he was kind of good looking. Oh yeah? Yeah, for a man of your age. Maybe you two could, you know? Listen, don't get cute. Just saying. I thought you were hungry. Starving. Okay. Morning. Morning. Been quite a while since I saw you folks up here. Last summer, maybe? Uh, maybe, yeah. You've got that cabin out at the north end of Fells Lake. Uh, we did. We sold it about eight months ago. Oh, you just up for the weekend? Uh, no, just river rafting, in and out in one day. Just the two of you? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with that? Oh, no. Where's your father? Dad's busy rafting his own rivers these days. I see.
<laughs> Here, let me help you. Um, thank you. You know how much sugar they put in that stuff? That's kind of the point, isn't it? Marshmallows, sugar, and ghosts. A supernaturally balanced breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks again. No problem. Jimmy. Let's go. I gotta go. Okay. Bye. You there yet? Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. What are you doing? Just chilling. You ask her yet? Um, no. I've got to warm up to it. Okay, but the party's next weekend, so don't forget. Yeah, I know. It's just ever since my dad left, she's been smothering me. But I'm gonna win this one. You better. Call me later. Promise? Okay, I promise. Bye. Hey, Joe. Chris, somebody stole one of my pickup trucks off the used lot last night. Stole one of your trucks? That's what I said, right off the lot. Hot wired? Oh, it had to be. The keys were still locked up inside. Charlie, leave everything the way it is. Don't move or touch anything till I get back. Let's go take a look, Joe. Thanks. The water's right where you want it. You got class two rapids early on and then smooth sailing until you get beyond midpoint. Class two, that's pretty light. Oh, don't worry. You'll hit the stone wall class four rapids before the end of the run. They're awesome. They don't disappoint, trust me. Yeah, we know, we've run these rapids before. Oh, I didn't know. I'm new here. But the dam release has been really heavy this week, so the river's really humming. Awesome. Keys? How's that? Oh, uh, we don't operate the shuttle anymore. So your car will be waiting for you at the other end when you get there. Oh, all right. Can you change the oil while you're at it? <laughs> it's a new service. But if for any reason you show up late or you can't find the attendant, your car keys will be waiting for you on the driver's side rear tire. Got it. Where will your car keys be? On the driver's Driver side rear, rear tire. tire. Good. Now go have a great day. My boy Jesse will be waiting for you at the midpoint landing. Uh, you can take a break, have a snack, use the restroom, whatever you need. Jesse, got it. Thanks. Now shove off. Try to keep up with the other rafters. Safety in numbers. Remember that. Hey, you. Get away your phone. Let's talk to it. You do realize that forcing me to do this is against child endangerment laws. Is this the part where I tell you to shut up like I really mean? I think so. Okay, good. Lift. Have fun. Thanks. Hold on. All right. All right. Forward. Forward, really strong. Really 
Your food will be right up. Thanks. Morning, Sheriff. Sit down. I hate to bother you when you're having breakfast. But you just can't help yourself, can you? We found a car outside State Road 84. It's from Mariposa County. Oh, my God. A car from Mariposa County? Well, that's where those guys broke out of county lockup a few days ago. You think maybe they decided to come here? Oh, it's more than a maybe. I'm pretty sure they pulled in here late last night. Why would they do that? Get this. Joe Hardy had a truck hot-wired off his lot last night. So I'm thinking these guys broke down outside of town, and then they came in here to grab another set of wheels. Hey, Sheriff, check this out. Early reports out of Buck County this morning indicate several small brush fires that have ignited along the perimeter of State Route 39 in the Ramsgate Canyon area. Firefighters don't know what may have started the blaze, but say they are hoping to have the fire contained by early afternoon. Travelers in the area are forewarned that road closures yeah, may be great. mandatory. Yeah, great. Bucks County. Are understaffed as it is right now. Yeah, if those firefighters can't get a handle on that pretty quick, it's going to be in our backyard before we know it. Isn't your daughter working at the youth camp in Bucks County? Yeah. Gail, give me a call as soon as you get this, will you? I love you. Bye. What are you going to do? Let me get with Sheriff Reed there, see if I can help him put together an evacuation plan. It's best to be on the safe side. I mean, he's only got two more deputies than I do, and I only got one. Yeah, that's true. Yours does the work of three. Box that up to go, will you? Yes, sir, Sheriff. Let's take a look at that car of yours and see what you missed. sunscreen on wow you're starting to sound like me well yes I do do you of course hey mom look up Ugh, don't what I just want to show people that we actually did it how you doing you're overdue. For your information, I checked back at the store. All right. Sorry. It's fine. I'll let you know. Everything's fine. Hey, look. Our first bump in the river. All right, forward. <laughs> There's blood on the driver's side window. Maybe we can pull a fingerprint off of it. Yeah, maybe. You got the VIN number? Yes, sir. You look in the trunk? Not yet. Chris. All right, let's, let's pop the trunk. Here it is. I think we got a problem. Very astute, Chris. <clears throat> yeah, this is Decker. Sheriff, this is Bradshaw at the health clinic. They just brought your daughter in. Is she okay? She'll be fine, but we're going to keep her here for a little while. They just started to run her vitals. What happened? She and some others got a little too close to the fire. Okay. I'm on my way. Is it Gail? Is she okay? That's what I'm going to find out.
Cassie! Mom, I'm, I'm fine. It's just... We're falling behind the group. That was nothing. We, we need to catch up. Oh, don't worry about them. We'll catch up. Come on, we gotta find your bag. Let's go. Come on. Mom, this is hopeless. It could be anywhere. It is not hopeless. It's gotta be somewhere. Here, I'm gonna call it. Maybe it'll ring. Mom! It's the only idea I have, okay? So let's just try it. This is never going to work. Mom! Look! You see it? Oh, my God, Mom! Wow, I can't believe it. I had five bars before, but now I have nothing. I bet you had got water in it. And maybe no bars just means no bars, kiddo. Here. No, maybe, maybe if I go higher up, I can get some service. I will be right back, just give me one minute. No, Cassie, we're already behind the group. We gotta catch up. Cassie! Hey, you. Hey, Dad. What did you do? Why would I believe you don't already know? You're right. The doctor already gave me the lowdown. He said you and your friends saved a bunch of kids. Got them to safety right out of the middle of that fire. It was a very brave thing to do. I didn't have time to think it over. Does that hurt? Mm -hmm. Guess it will when all the drugs wear off. Right now, I'm just kind of floating in a fog. Well, you shouldn't talk too much, you know. The doctor said you probably inhaled a lot of smoke. You might have hurt your lungs. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry if I worried you. If we had gotten out sooner, maybe all this wouldn't have happened. No, don't, don't be sorry, not for a minute. Please, it's just the thought of losing you. You, you remind me so much of your mother. Dad, there's still a lot of people out there and that fire's going crazy. I did my part. Now maybe it's time for you to do yours. Somebody else's daughter might be in danger. And I don't want to see you around here again until this emergency is over. Yeah, just like your mother. Three of us went to jail and he didn't, huh? What happened to him? I don't understand. Make me understand. We were all in this together, right? At least I thought we were. You got nothing to say to me, huh? I thought we were partners, huh? I trusted you with my money, my freedom, my life. Get him up. Don't pass out on me, huh? Don't pass out on me. Come on, tell him, man. Just tell him what he wants to know. Oh, he's stubborn, Jimmy. Or is he working with somebody else? Huh? Is that it? You got a new partner? And you can't help me. 
So I guess we'll just go back to the general store, right? <laughs> Pay a visit to your wife. Huh? Let's see if she remembers something that he forgot to tell us, huh? No. Wait. Huh? No. What? Wait. What? Huh? Frank? What? Where the hell did you steal this thing from, huh? Go get her! A long way down, huh? You'd be crazy to shoot me, Frank. I don't want to shoot you. Why don't you just tell me what I want to know? Touch him! Get away from me. Don't touch him. Say anything to you? Nothing. Nothing? Well, if you can't help me, then you can't help me. No, wait! He, he did. He said something to her, Frank. I swear I saw him just as I was getting close. Is that right? Hmm? Why are you lying to me, huh, little girl? Give me that.
Ooh. Bring her. Oh, what about him? What about him? trouble maybe a little are you uh jesse from midpoint landing yes ma'am i am a few of the other rafters they said that some people fell behind so i just circled back to make sure you hadn't run into any trouble oh i'm glad you did it's just me and my daughter cassie i'm sharon by the way sharon nice to meet you what's the problem well we had something fall in the river so we pulled over to come get it and then she goes off to see if she can get cell phone signal <laughs> and then i thought i heard a gunshot gunshot <laughs> nothing to worry about there's a scout camp about a quarter mile up here. They have an outdoor range for the boys. Probably one of the kids up there practicing. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, then now we just need to get going, and she hasn't come back yet. Yeah, we got to get you back on the river. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to help you look for her, okay? Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. So just point the direction she headed, and uh, I'll track her down, and we'll get you back on the river. How about that? All right, yeah. All right. She went over here, and then five seconds later, I could not find her. You okay? You right? Keep moving. I'm fine. Stop. Frank, she doesn't look so good. Maybe she's sick. Do you hear? Okay. All right. Cassie! Cassie! She really wouldn't have gone too far. The creek is pretty noisy. She probably just can't hear us. Cassie! I just hope she's all right. Why would she be? Cassie! But we do need to get you two back on the river. You show up too late, you miss the shuttle back to the car. Cassie! Yeah, we wouldn't want to miss the shuttle. Nope, that's a long walk back. Cassie! So, Jesse, how long have you worked for River Journeys? Uh, about two years now. Yeah. Great place to work, a lot of fun, and uh, they treat the employees really well. All right, we got tracks through here, too. Just gotta be close. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna pull off. Cassie! 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 Hey! Over here! Did you hear that? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Why didn't you answer me? Because I told her not to. Oh, now, Cassie. Let me go. Can't you see she's sick? In a minute. Cole, why 
launch at midpoint landing like I told you. Well, I was at midpoint landing, brother. Pushed all the rafters through just like you told me. Came up short one group. Thought there might be some trouble, so I worked my way back upstream and offered to help her get back on the river. Jesse's dead. Oh, well. Three splits are better than four. He died before he got a chance to tell us what we want to know. But I do believe he told her. I see. Frank, you're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cassie, listen to me. You're gonna tell us what Jesse told you before he died. Or? I'm going to open your mama up oh. <laughs> like a Christmas package. Wait. I want to count to three. And when I get to three, I'm going to start cutting. Frank. One. Two. She won't tell you. Why not? She's in diabetic shock. <laughs> She's in shock. She... She doesn't know what's going on. She... <sighs> I'm gonna kill your mother. She can't. She can't do it. Let her go. <sighs> Cassie, Cassie, are you okay? Go over there, Byer. Make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. <sighs> I think it's the real deal. I told you she looks sick, Frank. What are we gonna do now? Does anybody have anything? Uh, candy, cookie crackers, anything? She needs sugar. Anything! Oh, God, baby. I'm so sorry. You did this! She needs her pack right now. Where is it? In the raft. Please, please. Frank, come on. She's no use to anyone like this. Well, that's just brilliant, Jimmy. Brilliant. All right, go get the pack. What? Get the pack. Right. Let's just dispose of these two right now and get out of here while we still can. She knows. He told her where the money is. Frankie, boy, she is an eyewitness. Let me do them now. I am in charge. You do what I tell you to do. Jimmy. Yeah. Go to the truck, get those snacks we got from the general store, bring them back here. Maybe we got something that can help. Hurry up! All right. A couple yards back. Cole, get their stuff from the raft. I hope you're right, brother. You and me both. Sheriff Decker, this is Chris. Come in. Sheriff Decker, this is Chris. Come in. Yeah, this is Decker. Hey, Sheriff. I got really spotty reception, but we found Joe's truck. It's on the old fire road outside of Black Bear Valley. Find who took it? No, sir. Just the truck. But we're going to tow it in now. Any chance those men might still be around? It's hard to say. I checked the area and nothing. 
I'm guessing they met up with some friends and just exchanged vehicles again. This road leads to the next county five miles from here. From there on out, it's nothing but freeway. Yeah, but we can't take a chance on that. They might be 50 miles away or 50 yards. Ask around, see if anybody's seen anything. But don't be a hero. If you get in trouble, you call for help. Copy that. How things on your end? They're heating up. Sheriff, how's Gail? She's all right. She got lucky. I heard she rescued a couple of kids. She sounds like somebody else I know. Chris, get back to work. Truck's been towed. What do you mean towed? The cop found it. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna use your raft to get down the river. No, Cassie can't move. <laughs> the hell are you two even doing out here? At least you have a cabin up here. Summer home. Yeah, summer home. Nice big fireplace. Stone. Oh, big stone fireplace, right? Nice big redwood deck, huh? No more, though, right? It's gone. We had to sell it when your father left. Oh, too bad. Cole will be back soon. She'll be OK. Hope so. For your sake. If it was me, I wouldn't have sold it. Looks like a forest fire. Won't make any difference to us. Could be headed this way. Let it. A fire like that will keep the cops busy a long time. and busy, Jimmy. We gotta get Cassie out of here. By all means, as soon as you say the little princess can go, we're gonna go. Everything all right? We really need to get moving. Give me that. <clears throat> Heat. All right, all right, all right. Do what you gotta do. Get her on her feet. It doesn't work like that. It takes 15 minutes, maybe even longer. Well, that'd be a shame. <laughs> hey! Look!
Looks like they finally caught up with you. It's over. Not a chance. Wonder what they want. Yeah, they're just warning people about the fire, I bet. Everybody wave. All right? One big happy family. Just wave. That's what people do, right? We're all having a good time. Jimmy, go stand over by Cassie like she's your sweetheart. You come with me. Let's go. Come on, don't worry about it. All right, good. Hold her head steady. There's an uncontrolled fire in the western Bucks County, moving in the direction of the east Black Bear Valley. An evacuation of the immediate area is recommended at this time. Please return to your vehicles as soon as possible and exit the park by sundown. Wait. Are you okay? <gasps> We're lucky there's more cops. We gotta get moving. Kiddo, can you hear me? Mom. How you feeling? I'm tired, but I'm okay. All right, good girl. Can we leave now? Soon. Soon. Just get ready for anything. I'm gonna get her to talk. Let's go for a walk. I know that lunatic over there isn't going to kill us as soon as you get what you want. Listen, that's not how this works. I just helped you, right? You get Cassie to tell you what she knows and you tell me. Don't worry about Cole. Cole's like a brother to me. We grew up in the same foster program together. He's going to do what I tell him to do. Okay? Okay. I just want what's mine. Then we'll part ways. But I want that money. Right? Money changes everything. Is that what you think? <gasps> that is what I think. Cassie. Cassie. Do you remember what that man told you? Frank? Well? Cole, would you excuse us for a second? All right. What? I got your word on this, right? I tell you, and you let me and my daughter go. Yes. Now tell me what she said. She said sawmill. Sawmill? Does that mean something to you? Yeah. 
there's a there's an old sawmill a few miles from here. It's been out of commission for sixty years. Or... Few miles. <sighs> All right, Cole, Jimmy, let's go. What about them? Bring them. What? You're coming with us. You said. You... I know what I said, and now I'm saying something different. Why? Because you... I don't know where the sawmill is. You do. Now go get your daughter. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't do that again, all right? All right? <laughs> get your daughter on her feet, or I will. I don't trust her. Give me your word. We need to be rid of him, Frank. I know. One thing at a time, Cole. One thing at a time. Careful. Take it down. Easy. Sorry. Oh, I got it. <laughs> That's it. Burn, baby. You keep burning. I love fire. Right? Timing is everything, brother. Okay. Come here. Put this on. Good girl. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm okay, Mom. I'm a lot better than earlier. Good. Play sick as long as you can. Maybe it'll help us later. Don't do anything crazy. I won't. I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. No, don't you say that. It's not okay. Okay. Hello there! Yep. Gang's all here. Damn it. Let's play nice. Go help him out. Hey, how you doing? Hey, let me help you there. Ah, oh, we got hey, you. There we go. Guys. Thank you. Here we are. Um, stay here. Stay here. Okay. It's okay. Wait. Wait. Thanks. Everybody okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ed, right? That's right, Miss Robertson. Sharon. Right. I heard you guys had fallen behind. I just wanted to make sure your raft hadn't sprung a leak or anything. I uh, know the um, the raft is just fine. Oh, good. You know, there's a fire in the next county over. You guys should really be ready to clear out. They're going to start evacuating. Yeah, we know. The uh, forestry helicopter came by and told us. We're actually getting ready to leave right now. Yeah. Yeah, we just um, dropped something overboard, and we had to uh, we had to come in and get it, and then these nice men decided they would help us. Good. You know, I know you're pretty experienced on this river, so I figured it had to be something like that. I guess you found what you were looking for? Yeah, we got lucky. Mm. She okay? Yeah, uh, she uh, she wasn't feeling well, and um, but she's okay. She just needed to lie down. Yeah, Ed, listen, we appreciate you stopping by and checking in on us. Everything's fine. I'm gonna hitch a ride with these ladies down to the end of the run. We'll turn in the raft there. Yep. We'll be heading out of your lickety split. How exactly did you guys wind up here? Well, Ed? Yeah. Our truck broke down up there on the old fire road. Unlucky for us, but very lucky for these ladies that we come along when we did, huh? Lucky for all of you. Yeah. Do you feel strong enough to make it down the Stonewall Rapids? They can be pretty bumpy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be ready to go soon. All right. But I think I'll have somebody waiting at the end of the run to check you out, just in case. No, Ed, Ed, she's fine. She's had this happen before, and she's always been okay. Ed, it's all right. She just needs rest, that's all. Ed! Still, I prefer to have someone there just to be safe. No, 
Ed. Ed. Everybody always wants to be a hero. Get him out of the river. Put him under the kayak. Get his life vest. Why? That's why. And you heard him. There's rough rabbits up ahead. We're gonna need the life vest. Come on, stick with me. Come with Jimmy. Go. Grab his arm. Get him out of here. Get him out. Come on, pull, Jimmy. Did you have to do that? Which way to the sawmill? Which way to the sawmill? We get to Midpoint Landing and we can walk from there. Good. Let's go. It's gotta go this way. Roll it over. Come on. Come on, genius. Go. Frank, souvenir. Get in. Ready? Come on, come on, come right, on. Let's I got go. it. I got it. Go ahead. Dig it. Dig it. Don't try anything stupid. Watch her. Okay, Frank. How much further? Just up ahead. Lucky for us, we have such an experienced and beautiful navigator. Left paddles. Both left, left paddles. Front left paddle. All forward. Forward paddle. Right, right. Now right paddle. Up ahead. Here's midpoint landing. Pull over over here. Car! Paddle! Oh, I got it. Hang on. Let me pull forward. Push off that rock. Please do not trust them. I don't, but they can't get out of here without us. At least I'm going to make them think that, okay? I'll be back. I promise. All right. Me and you, we're going for the money. You stay here, you watch the little one. Okay. Let's go. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jimmy, you behave yourself. Cole! So it's across here and then up there. All right, good. Ladies first. You're a man. Come on, let's go. Afternoon. Afternoon, Deputy. You in charge here? I am. You done for the day? Yes, sir. We had a few scheduled runs this morning. Last raft went out earlier today. You're still here? Well, I'm kind of short one raft. Say that again? Short one raft, two passengers, and one employee. And Ed, my new guy, takes the kayak down the river to round them up. And now Ed's missing. Those help? Yeah. Anything sugary helps. Are you hungry? Thanks. You don't have to. It's a good thing you had these. Well, it's not by accident. Anyway, why would you care? <sighs> wow. So what happened to the gangsta? I'm not a gangster. Then who are you? I'm a nothing. A nobody. Look, ever since we got loose the other day, I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah. Well, killing Ed screws up everything. You know that, right? Yeah. I don't even understand how a guy like you gets himself into a mess like this. It's just stupid. Yeah. Look, I met Frank Cole and Jesse in a bar one night. I knew I worked for the armored car company. It all sounded so easy. A half million dollars in a single truck. So we robbed it. And we got caught. Three of us, anyway. Jesse gets away, and then he won't tell you where the money is. Yeah, that's about it. Listen. They are going to kill my mom and me as soon as they find what they want look at me it's not too late you help us and we can help you there you go all yours 
Well, I'll be. Well done. You've gained a little of my trust. Frankie, it's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, sure is. Tell you what, Cole, you take up here, I'm gonna take down there on that side. All right. I, I can help you look. <laughs> Thanks, but my level of trust only goes so far. Cole, tie her up. Come on. Move your head. High, high, high. Here you go. Good. There we go. All right. Behave yourself. Better hurry up, boys. She's loose! Okay, 
Ellerini iyice bir yapmak zorunda kaldı. Ölücüğüm, yemeğimi. You could die without me. You don't know this river or how to get back. Ah! <gülüyor> 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 You get off on him. No. Just you. <laughs> Frank and Cole. Cole's dead, and Frank's not here. And you got two seconds to decide. You help us down river, or you stay here. But I swear to God, if you try to stop us, I will kill you. Time's up. What's it gonna be? Cole! Get up. Get up. That boat is leaving in five minutes. Right. You better be on it. Where are you going? Huh? Jimmy? Where are you going, Jimmy? I asked you a question. But these women don't deserve to die, Frank. They haven't done anything. Is that what you think I'm gonna do? Huh? Why would I do that, Jimmy? We need them. We need them to get through those rough rapids, right? What are the cops looking for, Jimmy? Three men, right? Three escaped convicts. They're not looking for a nice, happy family, which is what we all are, right? So we get out of here, one big, happy family. Well, then what, Frank? Huh? Then what? <laughs> That's what. What's going on? Jimmy tried to run. Are you gonna make it? Might need a doctor. A doctor? Now you know that can't happen, right? Are you gonna make it? I ain't that bad. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, you two. On shore. Bring the boat in. Come here. I'll take that knife. Cole, I do believe this is your knife. Take your vest off. You too. What? Take it off! I want to make sure you're at your very best navigating those rapids. You don't get any cute ideas about intentionally flipping the raft over with me in it. See, because we got a very important passenger here that I'm not going to let anything happen to. Cole, why don't you tie little Cassie's ankle to the raft? See, I want to make sure you understand how serious I am about making it to the end alive.
Do you understand? You do? I knew you would. Barricade Southwest 40. Reroute all the traffic onto the 14, and that'll eliminate that gridlock. Probably clear sick more in about 35 minutes. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, good. And then in about 45 minutes, you can uh, barricade the Southwest 40 as well. Okay. Sheriff Station. I'd like to speak to the Sheriff's deputy. Uh, he's still on patrol. Can I help you? Yeah, this is Matt over at River Journeys. I spoke to him earlier today about some of our people that went missing. Seem really interested. So if anything came up, I should call this number. Okay, hold on one second, please. Sheriff, it's the guy from the rafting company. Chris was just there. I think you should take this. Yeah, this is Sheriff Decker. Sheriff, I talked to your deputy today about some of our people that went missing down the river. After he left, I just remembered something. I think it might be important. What is it? Two men. Uh, they're asking about Jesse, one of our guys that works down at Midpoint Landing. Yeah, later on he went missing. What did these two men look like? One was in his 30s, and the other could have been 20-something. They drove away in a silver pickup truck. Thank you. Uh, get a hold of Chris. Tell him to meet me at Upper Horseshoe Park right away. Got it. Chris, this is Susie. Come in. All right, Stonewall Rapids are up ahead. We get through there with all of our teeth, and we're home free. Don't get cute with me. I'd hate for Cassie to drown after all we've meant to each other. Don't concern yourself with my welfare. Mom and I have run these rapids before. It's you two that I'm worried about. Is that right? I've seen guys bigger than you turn white as a ghost before they hit the first boulder. What's she talking about hit the first boulder? You think you need a doctor now? Hey, tell her to shut up. Shut up, Cassie. Heads up. All right. We're supposed to get past that. You got a better idea? Yeah, about a half million right there in the backpack. This is stupid. Don't screw this up. I won't. When I tell you, you lean hard into it, or we're going to capsize on those rocks.
How are you doing? How are you? I'm okay. How do I work? Uh, you look good. I don't know. Do you still have your pen? Yeah. It's in my pocket. Uh, good girl. Uh, all right, let's find the car, okay? Mom? What? My great. Uh, hey. Come on. Oh my god, I can't tell you how happy we are to see you. You're the two rafters from River Journeys? I'm Sharon Robertson. This is my daughter, Cassie. We were just held captive by three men. They killed Ed that works for River Journeys, and this other guy, Jesse, he Okay, said... slow down. Are either one of you hurt? Uh, I, th I think we're okay. Good. Now, these men that did this, do you know where they are now? Um, Jimmy, one of the guys, he's dead. They, they killed him. And I killed Cole, I think. But uh, the leader, Frank... He's still alive. I don't know. Okay. All right. You don't have to worry about him right now. <laughs> Cassie, get in the back of my patrol car. I need to talk to your mom. I... No, it's okay. Mr. Robertson? Yeah. Is that your SUV? Yes. Do you have the keys? Um, no, but, uh... Ed... said that they would be, um, on the driver's side. Rear tire. Okay. 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 Sheriff Decker's Chris, come in. Sheriff Decker's Chris, come in. We're in a really deep canyon. A uh, deputy? Yeah. Frank was in the water, so he's probably miles down river by now. I don't What does he look like? Well, he's six foot two, 200 pounds, soaking wet. He's got a real bad temper when he gets hit in the face with a boat oar. Oh, my God. You've been in a lot of trouble, Sharon. But nice wheels. What was it again? Driver's side rear tire? Where the hell did Jimmy steal this from? Cassie. Sorry. Wrong place. Wrong time.
I guess you were right all along. It doesn't pay to be right all the time. I'm sorry I didn't get here sooner. We're not complaining. Can you get us out of here? Yes, ma'am. I can. <laughs>